All right, Dan Carlson, Division Manager at uh, Siler's Medical Division. What I want to show you now is our new 1080p HD camera and how to attach it to the surgical microscope. So of course, you're going to need the beam splitter. The beam splitter is going to go in between the optical pod and the binocular head. So you remove the head. We're going to put the beam splitter on. We have two different ports, a 50-50, a 2080. So what that means is we have two individual prisms, 100% of the light's going to be going down through the optical path. Remember, it's all coaxial illumination, so it's completely shadow free. After the light hits the specimen, it's gonna bounce back up into the beam splitter. Depending on which path you have the video or digital on, that's gonna be the amount of light reflected into the right side or left side of the port. So for instance, if you have the 50-50, you have two optical paths going through the beam splitter, you're gonna have 50% of the one optical path go through uh, the port in order to give enough light to get the video or digital imaging. Now with today's cameras, they're so good that they have individual iris diaphragms that can basically block out the light of each one. So honestly, you can put uh, the CCD HD video camera on either side, 50-50, 80-20, depending if you're right eye or left eye dominant. So we're gonna go ahead, put the beam splitter. Remember, screw this all the way out. You're gonna have an individual slot, rest it in there, and then you're going to tighten this back up. Now, we're gonna put the binocular head back onto the beam splitter. Again, you have the individual slots that just goes directly onto the beam splitter. Lock it into position. Now, we're gonna go ahead and put the HD adapter onto the beam splitter. And typically, this is just a C mount adapter. Lock it into place and take the black ring and lock it as well so it secures the CCD adapter. Now I got my 1080p HD uh, camera and all this does, you're going to go ahead and thread that onto the uh, adapter. Now, we got our power camera, power cable. We wanna make sure the 90 degree cable is going to be inserted into the top portion of the camera. Now, what we would typically do is thread the power cable all the way down, and this is gonna be more for cable management purposes, okay? And this is going to plug directly into the illuminator. And typically for cable management, what we do is we'll take some threads and clean it up a little bit. Now what we want to do, turn on the microscope. Okay, so we're going to have power to the camera. And if we bring this over here, I'm going to have my HD cable. This is our HDMI. So any HDMI cable is going to work. We're going to have it plugged into the HD uh, monitor, which I've already plugged it in. So this HDMI cable is going to plug directly into the camera. Now what we want to do is make sure the source of that monitor is going to be the same source as the HD. So it's just like any kind of cable, DVD, just make sure if this is plugged into source one, that it's on source one. All right, so then what I have up here is going to be exactly what I see through the microscope. And as you can see, the HD 
1080p beautiful imaging. And then what you do, I'll so what you're seeing through the microscope is going to be exactly what you see up on the monitor.